It's time for Clemson Sports Talk with Lawton Swan. Just call me Swanny. I guess not. I guess not. Finally, Clemson Sports Talk has come back to drive time. Hello, everybody. Lawton Swan back in the saddle. Once again, it is the show that shakes the Southland. Clemson Sports Talk for you each and every afternoon as you make your way around the great state of South Carolina and beyond listening to us on incredible radio stations like Fox Sports Radio 1400 the Midlands and around the world on the iHeart radio application. Well, that was unexpected but maybe shouldn't be expected given the fact that Clemson's offense has not played well all season long the Tigers go up to Raleigh they take on the Wolfpack they come home losers double overtime 27-21 NC State licking their chops smell blood in the water I said it all last week you knew they were going to give you their best shot and Clemson time after time offensively continued to sputter. We'll talk a whole lot more about that here on the program today. Plus, we'll take your phone calls and more. So, again, a loaded show this afternoon. William Qualkenbush set to join us in hour number two. Clemson now, two and two. They fall to number 19 in the coaches poll. They fall all the way to number 25 in the AP poll, and yet somehow are still 15-point favorites at home this weekend against Boston College, which tells me one thing. That is that as bad as it has been for Clemson this year offensively, there are still a lot of people in Vegas that believe that when the the things get going good, the good things are going to just keep going and rolling for your Clemson Tigers. But they've got to figure that out. Again, Dabo Sweeney after the game, obviously disappointed. I would happily play that audio for you, except for the fact that that there were connectivity issues, of which I'm not so sure Clemson wasn't excited to have. And there is some audio of this out there. You can go over to our YouTube channel if you're a subscriber. Go ahead and and, and go check that out. Or and if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and do that because we want you to subscribe to not only get the show, but we're going to be putting their audio up over there as well as on our website, Clemson sportstalk.com but we do have audio from Dabo Sweeney and his teleconference yesterday some good news on the injury front for Will Shipley some bad news on the injury front for Brian Brzee and a whole lot more for you here on the program including Dabo Sweeney standing up for Tony Elliott but without further ado we'll hit it out to coach Dabo Sweeney his teleconference yesterday with the media giving us his thoughts after being able to see some of the film of Clemson's loss at NC State uh, disappointing uh, day uh, yesterday in uh, Raleigh. Uh, again, congratulations to uh, NC State. <clears throat> Incredibly uh, difficult loss. You know, I mean, uh, double overtime. Um, and, uh, you know, we're proud of the effort, proud of the will to win and how they just kind of hung in there. Uh, obviously, we uh, really played poor in some areas and a lot of issues, but we still had a chance to win, and <clears throat> that's a credit uh, to our players and their their will to win. And uh, you know, just uh, they never quit, never gave up, and um, you know, so really, really proud of that. Uh, but that's that's two losses now away from Clemson here, and and you know, both games, uh, you know, a few inches away, a couple plays, and uh, you know, we've got a. We've got to learn how to uh, to win those games and uh, to overcome. But, you know, biggest thing, just really poor discipline with 13 penalties. Um, and uh, uh, we got a hurting team. Uh, we got a lot of guys beat up. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, you, you coach this game long enough, you play it long enough, <clears throat> you're going to have some uh, – you're going to have some hardship. And that's where we are. Uh We've got to learn, and we got to teach them how to win. Um, but uh, you know, my my life has taught me that that great things come from adversity and, and challenges uh, along the way. And 
You know, I, I don't, it's those things that, that shape us and grow us. And I don't have any doubt, um, you know, this team is made of the right stuff and, and will respond. Again, Dabo Sweeney yesterday during his Sunday teleconference, and they do have to respond, an undefeated Boston College team coming into Death Valley for the second year in a row. And you'll remember last season, it was DJ Uwe Ungalale's first start as Trevor Lawrence was out with COVID-19 issues and being in the protocol. And because of that, DJ had to start, found his way to a victory, had to fight a little come from behind action. But Jeff Halfley up at Boston College, we've told you how much we respect the job that he's done again, they are four and zero, oh, and for Clemson, you're already now trailing. And this is the strange thing about it. Here we are in, in September, and Clemson is not in first place in the ACC Atlantic Division. You got to have NC State lose at least two games. And buddy, if you want to play in Charlotte in the ACC Championship game, guess what? You can't afford any more losses. I mean, at this point, look, I know that many of you are like, let's just salvage the season. Many of you are probably jumping off of the bandwagon. Sweeney, by the way, addressed some of that as well uh, in this press conference last night or during his teleconference last night. But the fact remains, this Clemson Tiger football team, if they were to lose this weekend to BC, <laughs> you can, you can, you know, this past weekend's lost to NC State. I think, barring some incredible craziness in the world of college football in 2021, absolutely ends any chance that you make a seventh consecutive appearance in the college football playoff, right? There's got to be a lot of things that change in order for you to get there. But if you want to get to the ACC championship game, you cannot afford any more losses in conference. And Dabo Sweeney certainly knows that. You know, we've been here before. You know, we've had a lot of success, a lot of success, uh, a lot of great moments, and, and our best moments are still out in front of us. And we've got a lot more great moments ahead, but you know, our, our program was built through and from adversity, you know, over the last uh, 12 years or so. So we've been here before. You know, we started out two and three in 09 and, and um, uh, played for the championship. Um, you know, six wins in 10. And, uh, we started out eight and 0 and 11 and, and then lost four out of six and gave up 70 in a bowl game. And, 2013, we got killed by Florida State, lost five in a row to South Carolina. So we, we've had a lot of adversity over the years. And then in 2014, even, we started off one and two, lost at Georgia, lost in overtime there at Florida State, and um, started out one and two and, and rallied and had a heck of a finish. And that's really what we have to focus on at this point. You know, the season's not over in September. Um, you know, we've just always stayed the course. Uh, and again, after starting one and two and 14, we went on a five year run unprecedented in college football. And again, just continuing to learn and grow. And, and uh, you know, but we're in a, <clears throat> a spot right now that we haven't been in in a while. Uh, but just like always, uh, we'll respond and, uh, you know, we, we get back to the basics and fundamentals of what we do. And, and again, just, you know, just, just know that, you know, this is, this is part of it. You know, we got some areas where we're not playing very well. We got some youth in some areas. We got some injuries, uh, and that's just all part of this game. But you know, hey, God doesn't ever He doesn't promise us that we're not going to have adversity in our life. He just promises that He'll He'll go through it uh, with us. And again, we're all hurting, uh, but we've got to learn, own our mistakes, keep our head up, keep the faith, and just you know, don't lose our identity in a bad moment. And that's what this is—a is bad moment. Um, but I also know from my life that all things work together for good. I know that too. And, um, you know, so this is, uh, again, a, a tough spot to be in, but this might be one of the greatest opportunities that we've had in quite a while to lead and, and teach, um, uh, our young men, uh, a lot. And, uh, so that's my focus. You know, again, just circle the wagons, rally everybody up. And, you know, this story ain't over, man. We got a long season ahead and, and, uh, our focus is just trying to, Win a game this week. As for the injuries we mentioned, uh, Brian Brazee, of course, went down with an injury during the ball game. Looked like it was going to be an ACL. Ends up that's the case. And then Will Shipley also went down with what appeared to be an ACL injury. Here's what Coach Sweeney had to say about those two guys and where their health is moving forward. Injury front, obviously, Brazee towards ACL. Uh, we did get some great news on Will Shipley. Uh, he did not tear his ACL, so he will be back. Um, you know, somewhere in the next few weeks. So that was a, that's a huge, huge plus for us. Uh, 
Uh, so we were not optimistic there, but, um, and, uh, but we got, you know, again, some guys beat up from the game, but, uh, hopefully everybody will be able to, to go this week and, uh, and get back at it. So again, Brian Brzee going to be out for the year and uh, we've got some more on Brzee coming up, but here's how Sweeney explained what went on with uh, Will Shipley and his injury on Saturday. It was kind of his, uh, more well, kind of like his shin, uh, tibial area or something. Um, but, uh, you know, he'd probably be on crutches here for a couple weeks and, and then, uh, you know, kind of work back in after that as far as just, you know, his rehab and all that. So uh could be three weeks, could be four weeks. I'm not really sure, but all I know is he's he's going to be back at some point. So some good news on that front. The bad news also in the ball game was the fact that this Clemson defense, which really, again, continued to play very well, keeping the Wolfpack really at bay and giving this Clemson Tiger offense a chance to stay in the ball game, had some undisciplined moments, some bad penalties, and, Dabo Sweeney was asked about that and how the defense not necessarily let this group down. I don't think anybody would believe that, but just how this defense sort of faltered at points in this ball game against the Wolfpack. Now, in fairness, they were on the field for 40 some odd minutes of the game. Clemson's offense got little to nothing done uh, in, in, in all honesty. But here's what Coach Sweeney was sort of disappointed in from the standpoint of what the defense did do on the gridiron. Yeah, I was just really disappointed. We had some critical penalties, you know, a uh, couple of them that, you know, uh, just kind of went against us that just was frustrating. But, uh, yeah, the discipline penalties, you know, killed us in, in extended drives That because that obviously was, a, you know, we couldn't get them off the field. They, they They weren't getting a lot of points. But they were staying on the field with a lot of third down conversions and, and just wearing us down because we couldn't get off. And then offensively, we weren't staying on and uh, kind of a double edged sword there. Uh, but again, our guys battled through it. But yeah, I mean, it seemed like every time it was seven or eight yards, they were hard counting us and we were jumping even on a fourth and three. Uh, and that's just not, and, and it, you know, it just, you know, just sometimes I think guys are in the moment and they're trying to do too much and, and, uh, very, very disappointed with that for sure, and, and that was uh, again led to them being able to really be efficient uh, and and keep the chains moving and, and convert you know, third and shorts as opposed to third and longs. Again, Dabo Sweeney's comments here on Clemson Sports Talk. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. We're still got our goal. We're still going to try to get to a thousand by Game Six. Doesn't help that Clemson got beat this weekend again, twenty-seven to twenty-one against the Wolfpack, that Clemson Tiger offense continues to struggle. Dabo Sweeney has said in the past, though, you know, it's not about, uh, it, you know, the the effort and everything that these guys have. It, it really just comes down to a lot of the little things. And he was asked about, you know, what gives him the feeling that this group on offense will be able to get things back together, or maybe a better terminology would be to say uh, getting things back to good. When I mean, you got good people that care, um, and it's important to them, then, you know, you, you, you're going to, and you got talented people and you can get it, you can get it turned around. And, uh, you know, they're just a bunch right now that's not playing with, you know, a lot of confidence and, um, fundamentals are, are not anywhere what they need to be. And that's, that's, that's nobody's fault but mine. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it it's all, you know, uh, my responsibility. So. Um, but we got great kids. We got a bunch of good people. And, uh, and again, that care. It's important to them. They're passionate about it. I mean, to even be in a game like that and have a chance to win, you know, again, they just never quit they're, they're all the way to the, to the end. I mean, again, and they've made a couple of plays inches and we missed a couple of plays by inches. And that's, that's a, that's a difference in a game like that. Same thing in the Georgia game, you know, so, um, you know, that's where we are. And again, we, we've been here before. Um, and I understand that everybody's disappointed. You, you best believe nobody's more disappointed than the people on this team and on the staff. Um, but, uh, you know, again, everything in our past is, is, uh, you know, teaches us, you know, for, for, you know, the future and prepares us for the future. And, uh, you know, we, we, 
we've been here. We, it's not like we've been a program that's never had any adversity and everything's been always perfect. You know, we've had some incredible moments along the way, but we've always, you know, stayed the course and, uh, and built our program. And this program is, this program is built, uh, on rock. It's built the right way and, and we'll respond. And, you know, it's, we're not immune to, to, uh, having bad moments we're not immune to we're, we're not entitled to win the league we're not entitled to go to the playoff and, and all those type of things um and again you know we got a um, a talented team and uh, we we're not where we thought we would be right now um and there's not anything we can do about that other than just keep grinding keep working and that's that's what we're going to do it's what i've always done there's no quit there's no no give up um going back to work this week and we're going we're going to try to you know circle wagons and see if we can see if we can just win a game you know just just win a game this week and and uh go from there so again it is unfamiliar territory for your clemson tigers two and two now out of the gates here in september uh the streaks of 10 consecutive wins uh, per season the streaks of being in the top 25 i mean all of these things are now on the line this weekend against an undefeated Boston College team. And, I mean, it is just so unusual because of how good these guys have been. And Sweeney was asked, you know, what is it like to have to give a, a different message to players who have been so accustomed to a high level of success while they've been in Tiger Town? Yeah, well, that's what I said earlier. It's a great – sometimes, you know, you have a better opportunity to teach and lead these young men in a moment like this, you know. Um we haven't had many of these opportunities, haven't had many of these moments. Um, so, you know, uh, we just, we, we love them. We teach them. Um, we pick them up and, you know, this is a, it's not always going to be perfect. Uh, that's why you got to enjoy the, that's why I always make a big deal about any game that we win. Uh, it's a big deal. And, you know, all these great, great seasons that we've had for a long, long time, uh, man, I never take them for granted. And, uh, you know, but, but again, you know, all that we've been through since 2009, um, you know, gives me great confidence, uh, because we're a whole different program than we were in 09. Um, but we've been here this before. We've been in this exact same spot. You know, again, it's been a while, um, all the way back to 14, uh, to start out one and two. And, you know, this obviously we're two and two, but, um, the same type of disappointment, the same type of pain. We had a court, our best player got hurt that year. We got several players hurt this year, but that group responded and this group will respond as well. Sorry, Debbie, you said that the, um, I think it was like a week and a half ago, maybe you said that the, the, the offensive issues were purely uh, uh, execution related. I'm just curious now, do you, do you feel like, um, that you feel like, do you feel like you need to take a, deeper look at the at the scheme or play calling or you think that's fine oh i think i think we have to, we look at everything when you're when you're struggling and not doing well but um our number one problem is execution there's no question about that you know we're just fundamentally not getting it done where we need to and, and uh you know we certainly it's a combination of all those things but but um you know i i gotta get them better you know we should be better than what we're playing and um it's my job to to make sure we get get it done and improve. And we've got again a lot of new pieces, and um, some guys not playing as well as they're capable of, or you know missed assignment here. They're just sync and rhythm and all those type of things. We just haven't been able to to get that uh, in any form or fashion. But it's a combination of everything. We all got to do a better job. We've all got to do a better job. The words of Dabo Sweeney again. Yesterday afternoon during his teleconference with the media, he was also asked a little bit more to go in depth about how Brian Brzee is dealing with his ACL injury, which you mentioned earlier. And he was asked about Tony Elliott and the coordinating position and how not just fans, but even whew, RG3, Robert Griffin III, had some harsh criticisms on the broadcast of Tony Elliott. We'll give you some of that info and much more here on the program. On a Monday afternoon, it is Clemson Sports Talk rolling along. Keep it locked here, not only on Fox Sports Radio 1400, the Midlands and around the world on the iHeartRadio app, but stay with us if you're watching on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Go hit that subscribe button. 
right now. We'll be right back. Now, Columbia's most dependable traffic, sponsored by Pope Davis Tire and Automotive, home of the best tire prices in Columbia, guaranteed. Fox Sports Radio 1400 traffic. An accident on Percival at I-77, also a wreck on Ohio Street at Whitney Street. If you're stuck, use the 103.5 FM.